Hello everyone. And welcome back to the Hell March. In this video, we take a deep dive on how India's first indigenous aircraft carrier, the Krant was made. India, a country that is rapidly modernizing, is making significant strides in its defense capabilities. The Krant, the country's first homegrown aircraft carrier, is a prime example of India's progress in the field of defense. India's quest for indigenous aircraft carrier began in the early 1990s. In 1999, Defence Minister George Fernandez authorised the development and construction of an aircraft carrier, INS Vacrant, under the Project 71 Air Defence Ship. When it first started thinking about building an aircraft carrier, the initial design was done by the Indian Navy in partnership with Russia's state run shipbuilding company, Rosaboron Exponet. However, in 2004, India decided to go ahead with the project on its own. This decision was made keeping in mind India's growing status as a regional power and its strategic location in the Indian Ocean. India opted for a three-carrier fleet consisting of one carrier battle group stationed on each seaboard, and a third carrier held in reserve, in order to continuously protect both its flanks, to protect economic interests and mercantile traffic. Design the indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vacrant is 262 meters long and 62 meters wide and displaces about 45,000 tons. It features a Stober configuration. It can carry an air group of up to 36 aircraft, which includes 26 fixed-wing combat aircraft and a mix of Druv MKII, Sikorsky MH-60R, and Kamuv Ka-31 helicopters. The Ka-31 will fulfill the Airborne Early Warning role, MH-60R will provide anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare capabilities and Druv will be used mainly for search and rescue operations. The construction of Vacrant began in 2009 at Koshin Shipyard Limited, which was awarded the contract to build the carrier. The construction of Vacrant involved the expertise of more than 2,000 workers and engineers from different parts of India. The construction of Vacrant was a massive undertaking. Vacrant is powered by four General Electric LM2500 plus gas turbines on two shafts, generating over 80 megawatts or 110,000 horsepower of power. The construction of the carrier took over a decade, and it faced various challenges, including delays, technical difficulties and cost overruns. However, the Indian Navy remained committed to the project and provided the necessary support and resources to ensure its completion. The carrier was floated out of dry dock on 29 December 2011 and launched on 12 August 2013. Basin trials were completed in December 2020, and sea trials started in August 2021. Its commissioning ceremony was held on 2 September 2022. One of the significant achievements of the Vicrant project is the use of indigenous technology in the carrier's construction. The carrier features several key technologies that were developed in India, including the carrier's propulsion system, communication systems, navigation systems, and weapon systems. India's Defence Research and Development Organization, DRDO, played a crucial role in the development of these technologies. DRDO also developed the carrier's integrated platform management system, which controls and monitors the ship's various systems. Another significant aspect of the Vicrant project is the development of indigenous aircraft for carrier operations. India has been working on developing its own fighter aircraft for carrier operations for several years. The light combat aircraft, LCA, Tejas was modified for carrier operations and tested on Vicrant in 2020. In addition to the LCA, India is also developing the twin-engine deck-based fighter, TEDBF, which will be the country's first completely indigenous fighter aircraft for carrier operations. Carrier Air Group Earlier, the Indian Navy considered fielding MiG-29 K and LCA Navy on Vacrant. At the same time, in 2009, the then Navy Chief Admiral Nimal Kumar Verma hinted that the Navy was carrying out a concept study for a more capable naval fighter which turned out to be the HAL TED BF, unveiled at 2021 Aero India Air Show. In 2022, the Indian Navy began testing the Rafael M, and Boeing F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornet at a shore-based test facility at INS Hansa in Goa. As per multiple reports which states that Rafael M, is the aircraft selected by the Navy for Vacrant because the Indian Air Force already has a fleet of Rafael, which will help reduce Rafael M's overall maintenance costs of the fleets. The completion of Vacrant marks a significant milestone in India's defence capabilities. 
The carrier is a symbol of India's growing technological capabilities and its commitment to becoming a major regional power. The project has also helped create jobs and fostered the growth of India's shipbuilding industry. In conclusion, the making of India's first indigenous aircraft carrier, the Krant, was a remarkable feat that involved the expertise of thousands of people and the development of several key technologies. With the Krant, India has shown the world that it is capable of building advanced defense systems and is committed to enhancing its strategic capabilities. If you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the Hell March. Until next time.